Hey guys, welcome back to day two. Um, so I plan to do a lot of volleyball related things today in my video. Um, I was going to have most of them be outside, but since it's kind of wet and rainy, I'm going to add a couple exercise things in to replace those other things. And we will still work on some volleyball skills today. So I hope you enjoyed our workout yesterday. Um, send me a message about what your favorite one was. Um, I'd love to hear from you guys or like parents if you want to take a picture of them while they're doing this I would love to see that it'd be so fun. So um, We're gonna just get right into it Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna have you guys do is cut out some circles So just get like a cup or something and trace out five circles and then grab some tape and We're gonna tape these down for the reps for our dots. I want you to do two sets of 30 seconds for each sequence okay so for each one that I just showed you so you're gonna do the hop on one foot for 30 seconds then you're gonna stop take a break then you're gonna do it again hop on one foot our pattern like we just did for 30 seconds then you're gonna move on to your next activity so it'd be your right leg one hop so same pattern do that for 30 seconds then you're gonna stop take a breath do it again for 30 seconds, then move on to the next one. So this is how your dots should look. So I just taped down my dots so they should look like the number five on a dice. Okay, so we're gonna do some activities with this. These are called dots. Okay, so for our first one, all you're gonna do is you're gonna go out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, okay? So apart together, apart together, apart together, apart together. Okay, that's your first one. Our next one is starting both feet here. So you're gonna go here, middle, back, middle, up, middle, up, middle. Then start again, back, middle, back, middle, up, middle, up, middle, okay? That is your next one. Next, one's, next one is gonna go double feet again. We're gonna go here, middle, here, over to the side, middle, here, back. So the pattern is here, middle, up, back, middle, back, start again, okay? So, but with both feet. This, this, do, 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 do. Okay, our last two, you're gonna just do one um, foot hop. So you're gonna go, our same pattern that we just did, but with one foot. So you're gonna go here, 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 back again. Okay, so it's here, 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 back. Okay, so you're gonna hold up one foot. If you don't feel comfortable doing one foot, then you can go two feet again, like we just did. Okay, so you're gonna go one, 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 one. Okay, then you're gonna switch to your right foot, same thing. Okay guys, so we're gonna be talking about a pass, okay? So um, we are in our ready position, down and ready. We have all of our weight on our toes. We don't wanna have our weight on our heels, because it's gonna take us more time to get going, okay? We already have our weight on our toes, so we can lunge this way, we can go this way. Makes it very much quicker for us to get there, okay? So we are out, we're on our toes. We have our hands in ready position right here so that we can take a pass here or a pass up here, okay? So we're down and ready, loaded. Okay, when we pass, we need to make sure that our platform is nice and open, okay? So, we want to have a nice flat platform, okay? We want the ball to hit about right here. So we're making sure that we have our hands together. We don't want our thumbs overlapping. We want to make sure we either have a hand, hand close, and our thumbs are pointed down together, or we take a hand and a fist, put it together, thumbs down, making sure that our platform is nice and open and out. Okay, don't cross our thumbs. We want our thumbs to be right next to each other, pointed down, okay? So we have our platform. We're down and ready. We have our platform there. When we pass, we need to make sure that we use our legs, okay? It's not all in our arms, okay? We need both working together, okay? So we're down and ready. We see that it's gonna be... Okay, so we're taking it down here. Make sure that we look into our platform just for a split second to watch the ball into our arms, okay? So we're watching it in, we are shrugging our shoulders, make sure our arms are pointed to our target, so my target's this way, 
I'm going to move my hips so that they align or in um, the same direction as my target, okay? If my target's this way, I'm going to have to move my hips, my shoulders, so that everything is toward my target, okay? So make sure you're doing that, okay? So we're watching it in and lifting up to our target, okay? So that is how we pass. So some activities that you can do to work on your passing. You can pass against a wall if you have a wall, okay? Pass to yourself, that really helps and focuses on controlling your passing. So see how many you can get in a row. Um, you can do the same thing with setting, so set to yourself. Um, set to a wall, that's very important as well. And um, you can also practice with a sibling if you have one or a parent. Um, so those are just some other passing ideas you can do. So one of the girls that sent me what her goal was, which was Vanessa Veit, thank you. She sent me that she wanted to become a better hitter. So one thing that is very important with our hitting is our approach. Yes, that is how we hit the ball. So I want you to either get some tape, tape it down, or if you have a crack in your floor or your deck, then that would be a perfect starting point as well. So, um, where does your approach start? What line? Yes, the 10 foot line, good job. So, we have our 10 foot line, okay? If we are right handed, we start with our right foot forward. If we are left handed, we start with our left foot forward. Okay, I'm right handed, so I'm gonna do right handed way. So I have my right foot forward. All my weight is gonna be on my right foot, okay? My arms are ready to go, okay? All my weight is on my starting foot, okay? So my approach is left, right, left for right handers. If we write with our right hand. If I am a left hander, if I write with my left hand, I'm gonna start with my left foot forward and all my weight is on my left foot, okay? So we have our right foot forward, we have our arms out, we are ready to go. Let's pretend we have a broomstick in our hand, okay? We want to break that broomstick, okay? So, we have it in our hand, okay? We are ready to go, we're gonna go left. Take it back, our broomstick, right, left, and up, okay? So, again, we're going left, right, left, okay? We want our first step to be our biggest step, left. Come down with our right, left. Our palms are to the ceiling, okay? That's how we can get up and jump high. We gotta load our legs, okay? They're like rubber bands, so we gotta load them. We gotta make sure that they're in a nice 90 degree angle, okay? So we're loading, and then we're up, jumping, okay? So I want you to work on doing your approach, okay? Do it maybe, I don't know, 50 times a day. That would help. <laughs> Okay, so remember it is left, right, left. All right, you can do this. See that footwork for our approach in this kind of a way. So if my 10 foot line is right there, I got my left, right foot forward, excuse me, and I'm going left, right, left. See how my legs are like this? My foot is kind of parallel, would be to the net, and then this foot is coming right next to it. And I am bending, bending my legs, so that I can get up and jump, get that momentum to get our height. Remember, our goal is not to jump further out that way, it's to jump up, okay? So that's why we need to load our legs and make sure we're using them to their fullest ability, okay? So for those of you that know what a transition is, I want you to also practice that. I will teach it briefly here, but I don't want my video to get too long. So um, I'm just gonna show you, so we have our approach, left right left loading like this jump okay so we will add the arms in my next volleyball video i believe okay um i just really want you to get your footwork down because that is something that is very important okay so if i have my left right left i jump i come down i have to get back to the 10 foot line so i can approach and hit the ball again so i open up wherever the ball is. Remember, we never turn our back to the ball because we have to be able to see it at all times. So if the ball is on this side, I'm gonna open up this way. If the ball is on this side, I'm gonna open up this way. So I open, cross, back, okay? And I'm ready to go again, all right? So the ball's on this side, I open, cross, back, and I'm ready to go into my approach. So I want you guys
tries to work on both your approach and your transition. Remember, transition is when the ball is coming over and our hitter is getting ready to be um, ready to hit. So this is where we need to be when we are hitting the 10 foot line. Okay, so I changed my mind actually, and I want to, I want to show you the arm swing motion, okay? So remember, so we're gonna have our bow and arrow, okay? So if I'm right-handed, I'm going to hit the ball with my right arm, right? And if I'm left-handed, I'm gonna hit the ball with my left arm. So the other hand that you're not gonna hit the ball with is your guide arm, okay? That shows you where the ball is so that we can hit it and swing, okay? So I have my guide arm up like this. I'm going to, so as I bring my guide arm down, my hitting arm is going to come up over and snap through. Okay, so our guide arm, sorry for the noise cars, is up there, okay? It's gonna come down, so I'm gonna bring this arm, my guard arm down, as I bring my hitting arm up and through, okay? Make sure that we're hitting up by our, um, our fullest extension, not by our ear. We don't wanna hit at our ear, okay? We wanna get it up and over the net, okay? So we wanna hit it from up here, and we wanna snap, okay? when we are done and we should probably be hitting our side when we come through when we follow through up and follow through okay so just i want you guys to just get your guide arm up there and your hitting arm and just practice that exchange okay so i just want you to practice that i don't know do 50 a day or more okay so just keep practicing the transition the approach um and the swing and the follow through of um hitting okay keep it up good job over setting with you guys yet um which will probably be my next video but um you can practice setting like i said against a wall you can lay down and just set to yourself you can um go on your knees have someone toss you the ball and you just set little sets to them um just anything getting touches on a ball is great okay so try to do at least some of those every day would be great um like i said in the beginning so passing yourself um is kind of easier for you try walking and passing try skipping and passing haven't tried that one yet but you could try it tell me how it goes um so i also want you to see how many times you can pass the ball to yourself in a row and i want you to message that to me so i can see how you guys are doing okay so i want you to think in your head am i doing something that is going to help me reach my goal today so maybe like i said vanessa's goal was hitting improving her hitting now if she sees this video and she decides nah, that's okay um i don't need to do that i'm good i don't i don't need to improve my um footwork or anything for hitting that is not going to make her a better player right so we want to do things that will help us become better each and every day so that we can see us reach that goal okay so make sure you guys our um doing these things so my quote for today is grit is the stubborn refusal to quit and i just love the word grit i don't know why i just love it but i'm going to read you the definition of grit so grit it says is a positive non-cognitive trait based on an individual's perseverance of effort combined with a passion for a particular long-term goal or end state, okay? So when you have grit, you persevere and you do the extra things to reach your goal, okay? Um, perseverance is a big thing, okay? You gotta keep going, push through, even if there's adversity or challenges you may face, you gotta keep pushing through and just think about that long-term goal in mind, okay? So while you're doing your workouts and all these things that I'm preparing for you, I want you to think about, do I have grit? Okay, um, that is all for today. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.